Hey guys, welcome to Minecraft Hardcore. I've only played Bedrock before this. I, I've dabbled in a little bit of Java, but generally I haven't played it because a lot of my friends play on different platforms, so why would I be playing alone and sad? I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. This video took quite a lot of effort to make, and I'll be honest, I, I, I dis distressed a lot during it. I'm also intending to do a Q&A at some point, and I'll make another post on my community tab about that. But uh, without further ado, this is the Minecraft Hardcore experience. Chapter 1. The Beginning for starters, I named the world after my favourite drink. After spawning in, we looked around at the jungle and, uh... Yeah. The first thing I did was kindly rid a sheep of its life, its skin and its flesh. After that, I performed some basic Minecraft tasks, such as, uh, looking at my resolution for, like, 20 minutes, into collecting wood and digging myself into a small hole. I also set myself up a farm so I would never ever starve. Never ever. After that, I decided to embrace my autism and make everything checkerboard patterned. <laughs> I was surprised by the result. I continued working on my house throughout the night, but I could not have anticipated what met me in the next morning. A skeleton was at my door, and there was nowhere I could get the skeleton to fuck off. It shot me a couple times, bringing my health critically low, but I was luckily able to finish it. Unfortunately now I was in a pretty dire situation and my crops hadn't yet grown. Chapter 2. Hunger. With tension high and my heart so diminished, I had to make sure to maintain every ounce of life. Starting, starting now. Using the bones of my fallen assailant, I enhanced the growth of my melons, but still they wouldn't grow. I needed those huge mummy melons to feed me. <laughs> I can't do this shit anymore. I ridded the tree that provided the skeleton's cover from the world. I made a few goofy armor alterations to my house. Like, seriously, what the fuck am I doing? Unfortunately for my mental well-being, the only way to go is down, and I get really fucking stressed in Minecraft caves. In fact, here's what me at the time had to say about this. Guys, so... No, I'm... I'm not joking, this is really fucking stressing me out. Well, I have never felt this way playing Minecraft. Like, every little sound right now that's happening even out of the game is, like, making me jump. And it's kind of crazy, I might need to, like, stop in a bit because this is getting a bit much. I'm utterly fucking terrified. Chapter 3. Fear. While I was scared to death, one of the melons grew, which provided me food, which restored some of my health. Although, I was still unsettled by the fact that a skeleton could do three hearts in a single hit to me. This was a slight improvement. Eager to have a solid food source, I scavenged for seeds and started a small farm. Although, this would only yield food in quite a long time. So for now, I would never reach full health. Or so I thought, until I gazed upon the ocean and found some kelp. Now kelp was added to Minecraft and it was fucking useless, it's the worst sh shittiest food source ever. But it's a food source. Just fetching it risks me getting tridented by a drowned, which would instantly kill me. But today the drowned did not bite, and I got off scot-free with my food. I dug deeper and got some iron, although I couldn't stop the sick feeling in my stomach. But using this iron, I made a shield and a chest plate, which made me even feel much more safer. So much so, I went exploring and found some beautiful sights, simply. Throughout this hardcore experience so far, I've been so caught up with surviving that I hadn't bothered to live. But reality once again harshly gripped me, and this encounter with a skeleton made me realise I can still die. I still take so much damage, and I'm not safe yet, and I may never really be safe. As such, I cautiously looted the desert temple and returned to my humble abode. Chapter 4 Fortune 
In the bottom of my mine, I found a cave. Interestingly, there weren't many mobs in the cave, so I just looted it of all its resources. Occasionally, I'd have to do a little bit of fighting, but really, there was not much trouble. And really, there weren't many skeletons, which I discovered were the real problem. I even found a mob spawner down here and obtained stuff from that. There were some terrifying moments, but I really didn't end up losing that many hearts in any encounter at all. I was beginning to feel more confident, less scared. I decided now would be the time to make a nether portal, and although I never ended up really doing much in the nether, I made it anyway. In another room of my house, I made a kelp farm to honour the food that had saved me once, that had given me salvation. I went into the nether and constructed a tiny base, and then I went back out the nether, realising that if a skeleton could do three hearts to me in a single hit still, I was sure to die in the nether. As such, I decided to mine for iron. Rather than go for diamonds, iron would be much more common and easy to get. It'd also provide about enough protection to where I would feel safe enough to then mine for diamonds eventually. After this, not only had I acquired enough iron for my liking, but I had also made a tremendous looking strip mine. Chapter 5, Awakening. At this point, I had everything I could want. Food, I had my house, I had armor, I had a shield, I had weapons. What more could you want from Minecraft? But the answer lies in something deeper. It lies in the fact I had to struggle to get here. The amount of stress that I went through to get to this point was actually kind of stupid. When I play a game, I don't play it for the challenge, I play it for the fun, and if the fun is overcoming a challenge, so be it. But this was the most miserable Minecraft experience I had ever had. I downloaded a software which allowed me to turn off hardcore, basically, and turn it into a normal survival world. Maybe... Maybe some people will watch this and say, you failed to do hardcore. And I'll say, yeah, I did. But that's not how I wanted to play the game in the first place. I set myself in hardcore because I thought it was going to be a good video, and because all my friends were doing it, but that's not what I wanted to do. So, for the first time, maybe ever, this is a Minecraft hardcore video that does not end with death, that does not end with beating the game, and does not end with a promise for a second episode. No. This is my ending to Minecraft Hardcore.